What is God calling? Well, God calling on you is for you to be made into His image, to become like Jesus in some way that you would discover today <clears throat> that not only could you hear His voice, but that you could be Jesus to someone else. That God desires, really, to sit down with you in the morning, to take the time to have a cup of coffee, to take something out of your day so that he could put something into your day. You see, you weren't created for yourself. You weren't made so that you could go out into the world, be fruitful and multiply. That was in the garden. <laughs> Sorry. It's not that way anymore. What God has said is to deny yourself, to take up your cross and to follow him. That's if you're a Christian, because if you're born again, then you have a calling on your life. You have a, a choice to make whether you will do what Jesus said, which he said, follow me, or not do what Jesus said, which is follow your will. His will, your will. One way or another, you're doing somebody's will. And if you're willful, then you're not going to do what he wants you to do today. If you're willful, you're going to say, I don't have time for you, Lord. I got to I gotta get busy. You know, I got to go do my thing. You know, I, I got a job. I got responsibilities. I got family. I got all these things on my mind that I got to solve. And you know, God will let you solve them. And he'll watch. Because he waits to see what you will do in your circumstances that are you going to be driven by them back to him or would you like a better way would you like to find a more excellent way would you like to have that abundance of peace that abundance of love that abundance of joy in the midst of your circumstances so god says hey i'll meet with you <clears throat> i'll be here in the morning oh lord in the morning Will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up? Because when God sits down with you in the morning, he wants to fill you with his words. Because you see, his words inside you will give you great comfort. They'll make your mind think about the things of God. And you go, oh, I don't know what to do in this circumstance. Ask God. He'll provide. Really? Of course. Are you sure? Yes, he's always provided, hasn't he? Well, yeah. Well, what should I do? Seek the Lord. <laughs> Simple. How easy can it be? Get up in the morning before you have to do everything. And take a little time. It may be a tape. It may be a book. It may be a devotional. It may be reading the Bible itself for your sustenance. It may be simply closing your eyes and casting your cares upon him because he cares for you. It may be sitting down in a video and <laughs> talking to Jesus. As you know, he's here. You can't see him, but I can. <laughs> I know he's here. There's no doubt about that in my life. <laughs> Lord is always here. And the more you realize that, the less you fear, or the more you fear to go somewhere without him, but you always want to involve him in your life so that way you make choices that are according to his will, irregardless of the outcome. The outcome isn't for us to decide. We have certain things we expect, but he has a plan. Not a plan for you, it is a plan about you, and it's his plan to reveal in you himself. That's his plan. That's the purpose-driven life. That's the purpose of his life, is to reveal himself in you so that you would point to God the Father and God would receive the glory. Otherwise, hey, you're just a <laughs> example of something, a vessel of honor or a vessel of wrath. But today, when God's speaking to you, in God calling, empty yourself. Rely on me alone. Ask no other help. Pay all out in the spirit of trust that more will come to meet your supply. Empty your vessels quickly to ensure a divine supply. So much retained by you 
so much the less will be gained from me. It is a law of divine supply. To hold back, to retain, to keep for yourself implies a fear for the future, a want of trust in me. When you ask me to save you from the sea of poverty and difficulty, you must, tr you must trust wholly and completely me. If you do not, your prayer and faith are genuine, then I must first answer your prayer for help as a rescuer does that of a drowning man who is struggling to save himself. He renders himself still more helpless and powerless until he is wholly at the will and mercy of the rescuer. So understand my leading. Trust completely, trust wholly, trust me and not yourself. Empty your vessel, I will fill it. You ask to understand divine supply. It is a more difficult lesson for my children to learn. So dependent have they become on material supply, they fail to understand you must live as I tell you. Depend on me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Be not to thy own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. It is not about your directions in the day that are as important as his directions in your way as you meet the day. You see, one starts with you in control, the other lets God be in control. And that sounds kind of complicated because you get kind of like, hmm, what do you mean, you in control? I didn't hear anything. Are you sure? Was there something that you read? Something that you heard? Something that suddenly popped into your mind while you were spending time with God? Did you think about someone or something? Well, maybe you ought to get a hold of them. Maybe you ought to talk to them. Maybe God is showing you where his supply is coming from. Because as he inspires you, as the Holy Spirit works in your circumstances to cause you to see them, give them to God, and then go with them and allow God to show you his will in them, then you'll find that you're being directed by God, either circumstantially, verbally, emotionally, physically, or spiritually, because the Holy Spirit inside you can make you feel an unction, feel a, an impression that you should go some way. He can cause you to hear a physical word that is spoken to you audibly. He can cause you to see things that you would not have thought to see before, either in dreams or in visions as you're wide awake, or even in the reality of how things fit together. He can cause you to know things that there was no way you could know that except that God told you. And so you have all of this given to you freely by the Comforter, who is the Holy Spirit, if you but ask in the morning for God to lead you. You but ask through your day to God show you the way. You but ask at night and thank him for all the ways that he has shown you, as he has led you, as he has directed you, as he has inspired you in your circumstances. So today, I think you might say that it's a good thing to turn it over to the Lord today and see what he would say to you in your present day and circumstances as he's leading you in the way you should go.